Hello guys, welcome back to CJG Gaming. Now today I'm going to be showing you how you can connect an Xbox or a PlayStation 3 controller to your computer to use for Minecraft. Now, the first piece of software you will definitely need for both of them is something called Mind Control. Now basically, this allows you to map the buttons, sensitivity, stuff like that, and you actually download it from here, or up here. <laughs> so basically, if you were to get this link here, it would download it, I think, obviously. But I've already got it, I'm going to discard it. Now, what you're going to get is here, which is Mind Control. And Mind Control, basically, if I open it up, it's not going to work at the moment because I haven't got any controllers connected. Or any controllers online that are connected. Basically, it's going to show you this screen. And uh, the first time I think it has to download it, I think it's actually that... Uh, I've named mine PS3 because I'm using a PS3 controller. The only drawback is that if you don't have a proper wired Xbox 360 controller, um, if you have the wireless one, you can't use the play and charge kit. Uh, so if you have a PlayStation 3, however, you can use other bits of software to adapt your PlayStation controller, which I'll be showing you in a bit. Now, obviously at the moment there is no controller connected at all. So you can change your button mapping. There's no controller though, so it's hard to do it. Uh, I'll show you how to connect it now. Basically, in order to get the um, PlayStation controller connected, you need something that is called DS3. It's actually called Motion Enjoy, so if I type in DS3, then this will give you Citroen DS3. So you type in P D DS3 Tool. If you type in DS3 Tool into Google, it will come up with this, Motion Enjoy. And you go to the download bit. All these links will be in the description, by the way. So this downloads here. So when you download that, you will actually get DS3 Tool, which is here. And the first time you use it, you have to A, plug in your PS3 controller with just the normal charging wire or any other USB wire that connects into it. Um, you, the first time, you need to go over to Driver Manager. Over to Driver Manager. Oh, yep, yeah, and click Yes. And then when you get to driver manager, you have to tick this and load the driver. Now I've already got this. This is plugged into USB thought port three in my computer. If your PlayStation you can, PlayStation controller has to be connected at this point. At this point, if your PlayStation controller is connected, it will recognize which one it is and you just have to load the driver. So I'm gonna load it again, just to make sure it works. Hopefully my controller won't connect to my PlayStation. There we go, it's in. Now if I go back to here, it will, you can get many different things, so it will say waiting for connections, connect, controllers to be connected. So, um, I'm just going to disconnect my PlayStation controller and reconnect it now. Hopefully this isn't going to turn off. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it's connected it to it. So <laughs> it's connected it. This is a DualShock 3 6-axis controller. It's the more expensive of the two. It's got the three vibration bits. And just to make sure you can do it, if you do this, you might be able to hear a little bit of vibration in the background. Okay, or not. Why isn't it working? If you click enable. Right, this should be working. You can't quite hear the vibration, I'm pretty sure. So if I then open up Mind Control, hopefully now it will... You had to select Xbox 360 controller because Mind Control looks for Xbox 360. I originally came across this Motion Enjoy gamepad tool. Uh, when I was trying to play Super Meat Boy, because it's so much easier with an Xbox controller, and I don't have a wired one. Oh, I found out why it hasn't connected. It's connected to my PlayStation in the room next door. I had to quickly turn that off. So if I now click vibration testing, it's not going to work again. <laughs> if I disconnect it and plug it back in, now it can't turn on my PlayStation because it's off. And this should be... This is connected now. It's vibrating. If, you, if I put it on my desk, maybe... Oop. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear that. Um, if I now click enable, you'll hear the in sound. And here we go, this is Xbox 360 controller. And here it should all be working. Oop, I don't want to invert look down. If we go into button mapping, I've actually got this set up for Terraria at the moment, but the X button on an Xbox controller 
is the square button on a PlayStation controller. So I'm going to have that as E for inventory. Uh, the B button, I'm going to have a shift. Now the B button does lock on. So if you're in creative mode and you're shifting, make sure you don't do that. Start button, escape. Once again, scroll up, scroll down. I'm going to leave those. Right joystick button. That is mouse button three because that's a select button block. Y button is escape. I'm actually going to have that as F5 so I can look behind me. Select button, I'm going to actually have as tab so I can see who's on. And then the A button space, obviously. So if I now click done and I restart that because obviously I had it open before my PlayStation controller was connected. Just double check enable, make sure it's on. Uh, that motor percentage is fine. I've just got it 150 so I can test the vibration properly. Sometimes my controller goes a little bit weird. So now this is started up again. As you can see, I'm not actually, or as you can't see, I'm actually using my PlayStation controller. So if I now go on to Minecraft, uh, this is going to muck up my recording two seconds. Okay, so we now actually have our con controller connected. Uh, you can navigate around. For example, I'm using my right trigger it would be on an xbox or on a playstation controller your r2 button and obviously these are my different worlds loads of different worlds Callum land creative etc etc i'm just going to go into this world so it's creative so i can show you around some stuff uh it's sort of confusing to fly around in creative um it does actually it seems to lower your fps this is in fact the minecraft a to z world uh, as you can see, so I've just, I'm walking around, to sprint it's sort of annoying because you have to, you can't really sprint in creative mode either, but you have to double, oh there we go, you have to double tap your joystick, and then if you're flying, it's really easy to fly around, really easy, the problem is when you go to go down, so if I go up, and then I just press circle or B once, it's going to constantly make me go down, which is sort of useful when you're trying to like, for example, if I just place some blocks here, if I go onto this block, and I can't fall off, so I've got an automatic constant shift, but you have to press it again to release it, so it's really annoying, for example, I was playing Terraria the other day, and obviously, if you have shift on, it makes you delete items, and I accidentally deleted my Muramasa, which annoyed me, but um, as you can see, it's fairly easy to do stuff, it's sort of like Minecraft for Xbox, but on a PlayStation. Um, no, this is actually, it's quite cool the way it works. I sort of, it's, there are other things I'd do with it. Um, as you can see, I actually built this with it earlier. This is a T flip flop bud switch. It can, it does take a little bit of getting used to, um, especially with the building block tool. I carried on deleting my items, but for example, if I just get a piston down here, as you can see I've done it again. If I get a piston down here and I just release my shift obviously and I build just a bud switch for example. Uh, you can do it a lot quicker. It's sort of a different way of playing instead of the normal way. Um, it does get really disorientating at times though. Uh, the annoying thing is I don't think you can use your actual um, keyboard if you have one for your controller. Um, so you have to do all your typing on the computer. Same goes for with a uh, with games like Terraria. You can't like you can't do everything you can on the normal game. Like it's the it's it's not perfect, but it is it's a pretty cool tool just for playing around with. Um, I mean the the main advantage of it is it's a new way to play it's not the same as normal it gets it gets boring usually um the main problem with it i'd say is the using your crafting inventory because i've been using this for a good couple of days now and i've actually got used to this um oh, but i also occasionally make the odd slip so you just gotta do stuff and get used to it you do get used to it eventually but as you can see there is a very faily bud switch here that isn't going to work. But anyway, I will see you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.